this is the ARAC 21 upper receiver, and uh, it does have the ambidextrous capability, and I'll show you how all that works. But first, it's a 15-inch monolithic billet aluminum upper, so it has a Picatinny rail on top that has no seams and is one piece. It has a forward charging handle, it's foldable, it's ambidextrous, it's spring return, and it's not reciprocated. So you can put this on either side. It also has a variable gas setting knob at the front. There are three gas settings, low, medium, and high, and there's also a non-gas setting. So you can actually turn the gas off and shoot the rifle as a bolt action. So if you don't want the action move, you can turn it off. To take the gun apart, it's a captive pin. You push this in and down. And this is the lower recoil lock. The lower recoil lug has a guide rod and a connecting sleeve. The guide rod hits the connector, this spring comes out of the equation, and this one starts out. So your pressure distance curve goes from 4 to 12 pounds and 12 to 24 right at the end. So you have a real soft feel before it hits on the hard stop. But this allows for a guaranteed stroke to pick up the next round before the second spring engages. The other thing you'll notice is if you want to slide that back and forth there, feel that, Jose. Oh, that's smooth. Well, we do what we call a little tilt test. Yeah. Okay, this thing should go just down. like that. And the reason that happens is there's no gas sealing ring because it uses a long stroke gas piston. Yeah. There are hardened steel rails that are down inside of this receiver. Right. And the hardened steel rails are QPQ nitrate coated for wear, and they're the wear surface that this bolt carrier rides on. So the bolt carrier uses these grooves here and here to ride on back and forth. That's why you don't have a metal on aluminum like you typically do in an AR platform. So you can take, excuse me, you can take this pin, it's a firing pin retention pin, pop this out. You'll also notice we have a firing pin retention spring for a firing pin dampener. And if you take the, fire, the cam pin out, you can rotate the bolt 180 degrees and you have a left handed yeah. 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 awesome. Now the All difference right. is, and yeah. there's nothing wrong, this is one of ours, this is an AR bolt, it ejects at 2 o'clock. Ours ejects at 3 o'clock. So when you pull the pin and rotate 180 degrees, you actually have a left handed gun. That's why with the ambidextrous window and the ambidextrous bolt, you can change right to left on the same gun with the same parts in a matter of about a minute. Yeah. You can't do that on an AR just because it would drive the bullet down, the empty spent kicks down. So that's the difference on that. And then if you want to change calibers on an ARAC 21, it's pretty difficult. You need seven special tools and three men. You take the cover off and you slide the barrel assembly out. So the barrel assembly includes the trunnion, which you'll notice is significantly different than a typical oh, yeah. barrel extension. It's a little heavier, and one of the major advantages of this is we can take our feed ramps on the 7.62 version below the water line of the front of the magazine. So you have a continuous feed ramp for 7.62 by 39 on an ARAC 21. The other thing you'll notice is on this bolt, you'll see an involute profile, not square. The involute profile has a little more surface for the shear, makes a little stronger bolt, less stress. And uh, when we go to make a 7.62 bolt face, cobore in our ARAC bolt, we have about 50% more metal than we do on an AR bolt. So we have a stronger platform for the 7.62 platform. Also have a little better feed ramps. This uses the gas tube, it's got the gas adjuster, the gas block. We also have a clean out port that is accessible between the gas cylinder and the barrel. So that there is, you can clean between those two surfaces. And then you'll also notice one last thing, we use our muzzlock, which is all of our devices that we put on our rifles have a timing device which is called muzzlock. You don't use a crush washer. It's an integral jam nut, you just extend it out and tighten it down. So you've got interchangeable barrels with three different calibers, muzzlock features, variable gas setting, long stroke gas piston, no carrier tilt because your recoil is directly in line with your absorption of the spring. So there's no tilt, and you've got the right and left hand version that comes apart and changes right. barrels in about two minutes. Why does anyone shoot a normal AR anymore? Because we haven't told you about this yet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it looks like you've solved a good deal of the problems here. So, I haven't shot them. I, they're nice. I like We're gonna them. I've shot them a lot. Um, 
Looking forward to getting getting one in our hands if we can work out. And, uh, Nathan was going to set us one last year, and I said he had it lined up, and he had a barrel. And I said actually we want all three barrels. Well, we don't have all three barrels right now, so we went back in the queue because I was too demanding. So well, we'll I'm picking myself for we'll that. We'll get you straightened out <laughs> because they're they're just so nice. I, I really. It does have really features like that are different than a typical AR. We sell the holding brand AR. We, yeah. we, we've got a complete line of AR uppers now, and we have we make our own barrels. We make our own parts. That, that's one of the things that's unique. We manufacture all of our barrels. All of it starts out a 10-pound block of aluminum wow. and yep. ends up less than a pound. So we, we do all this machining ourselves, and uh, it has features. It's got a monolithic rail. It doesn't have the disjointed aspect of your sights. It yeah, rides on steel rails. Yeah. Get and the, the bolt carrier rides on hard and steel rails. You just don't have this tilt wear issue. Yep. There are physical features. It's a little bit heavier than a gas impingement, which we sell those as well. So it's like ice cream. Not one flavor for everybody, right? Yeah. Yeah. But the A-Rack does offer features that are difficult to find in an AR. I personally like the fully charging handle more than any. That's one of my strong features. Yeah. But uh, everybody has their own ideas. And between the holding brand, the ARs, and the A-Racks, and of course our full line of barrels, muzz locks, we just try to be innovative and uh, get a good product in your hands. Sure. Does the muzz lock um, interface with... Uh, do you have adapters for silencers? No. Our, our, our muzzle locks are, are typically so that we can... Uh, do you have a we, we do the muzzle locks so that you can take them on and off with the direct thread silencers or okay. suppressors. And, and how they work is real simple. Do you have a barrel over here? But we also do... What they do... We'll find the barrel here. I'll show you. It has an integral jam nut. But what it is, it sleeves over the entire uh, device. So you don't lose any purchase or real estate of your right. ID thread on the barrel. So these are made to fit your standard 308 and 556. It's half 28 and 58 24 threads. So all you do, instead of using your crush washer like when you're in the field, this is a left-handed thread, by the way. You put this on until it's all the way back. Okay? And you just thread it on your muzzle of your device, whatever barrel you have, 556 or 300 blackout. And it comes up and it times out. It's okay. It's too far. Instead of going around, you actually back it up. You extend this and tighten it down. So if you go too far, you back it off and adjust it a little bit. So you can actually time it. Now you do have to tighten it with a wrench so it doesn't come loose, but you don't need to overcome the rotation against the crush washer to time it. So you can take it on and off a thousand times and never need a crush washer. Nice. No right. replacement of the cross washer all the time. Yeah. Spending the yeah. 20, 30 cents per cross washer that you need out every time that you want to put a different. Plus, you need a vice to get it turned around if it doesn't time right. So, this this is something you can do in the field very easily. You can change the flash hiders, muzzle brakes, suppressors, and all you need is a wrench to tighten it up. So where can someone get these? On our website, and we have several dealers. We have a dealer locator on our website, so you can find if your local guy is carrying our stuff. If he's not, please ask him to, but it's www.faxandfirearms.com. All right, we'll put a link at the uh, description of the video as well, so uh, we'll take you right there. Sounds great. All right, thank you.